for those who are just tuning in on the story, here is the cat that I brought in. She was the stray, and she was pregnant at the time. She's lived with us now for about four months, give or take. So, finally found her. She was, I searched high and low for about a day, and uh, she was found under my brother's bed. Basically, under his bed, we had fortified it because he loves to jump, and he's the autistic one. So, we didn't want to, you know, have him go straight to the, the frame and anything, so we fortified under it. Well, she had found this itty-bitty little crevice all the way in the corner. And that's why we didn't think she was under there, so that was the last possible che place we checked. Well, pretty much going under there. Don't want to don't wanna give everything up. I was like, oh, one kitty, two kitty, three kitty, four kitty. She has a total of six. What I say here? Okay, this is, I don't want to wanna show them in their face, but yeah, six, six little kittens. And, my God. And this one is, the so far, the favorite. Um, it has a little white line that runs all the way, complete, all the way around the neck. And it is so adorable. And there was the last one out. So I guess you can call it the runt of the litter. And then we have Midnight Black. I'm going to call it Midnight. Figuring it's completely black. Not even a spot of color on all of the kitty. And then we have some gray ones. Black with a white spot on the front. A couple, like two other black ones. But they've got little white spots on them somewhere. Like on the belly, feet, things like that. So we finally found them. And it was pretty much like a 101 Dalmatians moment. Finding all these cats. So... I'll pick up this one thing since he's awake. Oh. I'll just give him. Say hi to the world, little guy. He says, Hi, YouTube. How are you? I've got the sniffles. Hi. I love kittens, my god, I love them. I, I mean, there's no way realistically I can take care of all six of these. Plus the mother, plus the other stray we took in. Um, unfortunately, he's a loner too. So, yeah, everyone else is in their nice little neat pile. This one's a little far away, but he's right by him. He's like, what's up, guys? But, um... So yeah, I thought I would update everyone with a cute little video. We took him out, and uh, she was all upset at first. They took him out from that corner, but, um, you know, she wasn't eating. I mean, she pretty much did not come for food and water for pretty much a day or so. And we'd see her bright and early in the morning when no one else was up. It was the only time she would sneak out to get food. And so, you know, being concerned about that, I mean... Especially for her, she's barely amounts to anything. She's not, I'd say she's about a year or so old. And then, um, you know, she needs to replenish herself, especially for nursing the kittens. And then, you know, ever since um, we brought her out and, you know, made a makeshift um, little tight and snug little place for them, she's eight and eight and eight and eight and eight and eight. So, and, uh, so that's been especially good for her. This makes uh, the fourth load of kitties I have ever had to deal with since, uh, well, since I was about uh, 15 years old. We had um, taken in two cats from this woman who was given away. She had, like, a, a big litter about the size. It wasn't an anything. It was four. We took in the brother and sister, and one was golden. One was uh, basically, a, I guess you could say, tons and tons of colors. It was awesome. And we named her Sissy, him Razzy, and they ended up having babies. And she had f three, three or four. And then the next letter she had two, the next letter she had one. And unfortunately the one didn't make it. Um, I don't know what exactly was wrong with that one. But, but yeah, I thought I'd share this with you guys. And their eyes haven't opened yet. It's too soon. They open about the end of the first week or so. And, um, 
So yeah, it's been pretty awesome. You can tell. <laughs> she is pretty, uh... She's, she's at her wit's end. She's like, oh my god, I've been in this for like three or four days now. So, yeah. I, <laughs> I need to be away from the nursing for a while. So. But she's very, very uh, protective over him. The other stray cat that we have um, was very, very loving until she saw these guys. And now she's very, um, I guess you could say jealous. She's nowhere in this room. Normally she sits in this room all day long. She's no longer in here. She's out in the living room. That wants nothing to do with any of this. I tried to get, you know, see, let her see the babies. And all she did was sniff and then hiss. So, um, yeah, that kind of sucks. So, glad you guys enjoy. Feel free to share, like, and comment. Peace out.